It's Friday. Woo! What's up, everybody? On Quieter Live here. It is. We're wrapping out the week. August second already. We didn't even ring in August yesterday, but ringing in today, August second. This fucking show's been on for almost a year. Who, who knew it? Welcome back and joining us always in the booth. The codiest of codes, Cody Hall is here. Woo! Hello, Yay! Cody. Mark Yodius Rileyus is here. Woo! Woo! Hi, Woo! Darina. Queen of Death. Great shirt. Here. Thank you. I love your shirt. I have that shirt. Yeah, and the Irish fuck uh, <laughs> Kate Mulligan is here. And that Irish fuck. <laughs> hey, you Irish fuck. Hey, you Irish fuck. Oh, I don't mean to get anybody offended. God forbid I offend all the Irish. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm fucking offended. I'm part, I know everybody's offended. I'm part, I'm part, I'm part, I'm part Can you please write a, an, an apology? About yeah. the fact that and I... And post it on Collider video. That I, that I, yeah, to, and petition sent. Yeah. <laughs> a, sorry for my insensitive comments about the Irish. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> to be clear, this show. is not, I did not, you and I did not have a conversation where I'm like, stop saying anything about the Irish. We're just, this is about something we were talking yeah. about. Yeah, we're just, yeah. we're just kidding around. We're I'm just, not being, just, I'm not wait, being sensitive. just telling jokes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a joke. Can I say it? If you like the joke, then laugh. If you don't, then post it on Twitter and get me in trouble. Please, I'm praying for it. Thank you. That's what's that. Ow. Well, I'm retweeting that shit. You know shit. someone's going to edit of that out. Of course, that's it. He did it again! He freaked out again! He's been busting his ass for three years this time on comedy. He did it again. Oh. Fucking Harloff. Oh, God. Comedy You're a lunatic, Harloff. Yeah. You privileged fuck is you what privileged they would say. You privileged fuck. <laughs> 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 It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Kate is just moshing. Now I point. love that song because yeah. Kate did that dance. That's stupid moshing. song. She's moshing. Oh, moshing so to good. Rebecca Black. That's so good. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, How are you guys doing today? Good. It's pretty Fucking good. A. It's just like, it feels it's like a... therapy, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Collider counseling. Collider counseling. That's the truth. It is the, uh, it is the morning show here. Tell me how you Live. feel. Yeah. 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 I'm really get, I'm getting excited about... Um, in fact that this show's really catching on not only to you know the audience and our our the dedicated audience we're just we're getting notes from publicists and yeah. uh, okay. and you know and people and even even people that we can't name yet but there's just yeah. some high, high profile people like the collider lives and we're uh, we're excited at yeah. the collider lives the collider <laughs> they lives. do they do. I'm excited. I mean, look. What, I think what that, high profile people well, we watch our show? We, we oh, we can't. Say it. Oh no, we that's say it. yeah. We don't. But we just we found out something we were excited about it, and it's, it's, it's and it's not just because of you know just people out there. It's just it's the words getting out there that this is just people fucking around and having fun. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that's what people Ooh. need sometimes, and don't take yourselves too seriously. You yeah. Know? Because I did that and didn't work out. <laughs> 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 so. but, but that's all you can do in life because yeah. you can't take life too no, seriously because life is crazy no you can't even you it's it's funny because like that's it's actually it 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 tends like 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 i said i don't know it was a month you and i talked about this after all that whole the whole debacle went down um and we sat on the couch and Dorina was so cool about it she's just like don't worry about it she's like you gotta you do what you do you, you it's you accepted it you made the, you made the apology you, you talked about it and then you just you move on you, you crack jokes on yourself like yeah. you do anyway yeah and it did and it's funny though too you, you still for the, for as long as I do what I'm doing now, I'm gonna get comments of like, "Hey, you've been busting your ass for five years for it," and now mm -hmm. I laugh. But now it. it's funny. It's funny now, and I yeah. say I deserve it. I get I want, it. I want but a shirt. I, I, like I, I want to do one. I want to do one yeah. too. I want to do it. Like, but it's like, but I do want. I would rather like the people who get it and have fun with it. It's like the five years, but the ones who are. It's like I want. I'm encouraging people to come up with something. I don't, I'm not gonna say like publicly, but like, there's a few people like, like trolls, right? That'll, yeah. that'll say like, just... "Have you been busting your ass?" I'm like. You gotta come up with a better when you're better than that. Yeah. Come on, think of something funnier. It's like it's like you. I don't you know got that it. they are better than that. But, no, but it's like, but it's like, <laughs> but that that one, that that one, that's the one you do like for the first like month. Yeah. For the first month when it comes out, that's what that's Don't what you tell me do. how to do well, comedy. Huh? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> the shill comment that they <laughs> still throw at you <laughs> is but, hysterical. Yeah, that's, but that's yeah, that's but that's part of it. That's you know that's yeah, that's what that's, that's part that, of it. it, com it comes when it comes that way, you're just like I'm just accepting <laughs> things differently now because like I said, like from that whole thing, it's like you gotta understand and this is life. People aren't not everyone's gonna like it. People are not gonna like it and people are gonna some people will like it, some people won't. Some people I met a guy at Comic Con that came to the to the panel John that we did. John Cena. John Cena. And he said, Look, man, I'll be honest, I was I was uh I was 
was one of the guys I came I, I came at you pretty hard after that whole thing and having a conversation with you here and now you know you you see somebody on uh, on video and you think you you know but mm-hmm. having a conversation with you now I feel you know I feel bad that I, I said look you, you did your opinion you had to do what you had to do it's the whole, that was cool that you did that yeah, it was that nice is cool one. yeah because now people do that that's great because it's it's a whole like what, what's it called like when people get canceled <laughs> like there's a there, that, that's like a term now yeah. when people are canceling other oh, people on social media this. okay. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't heard and that? And now you know. This is this when the children canceled. are on their telephones? Well, look, Myrtle, how it works is the <laughs> kids come out, and what they tell you is that if they don't like what you're doing, your whole thing is just canceled. They just, but they, do they actually cancel you? Yeah. Well, no, what they say, they, it's a kind of a term, Myrtle. Okay, cancel. Cancel. Like is this show canceled? Yeah, it's yeah. like has oh, to do with Nielsen us. ratings or right. something. Oh, the Nielsen yeah. box yeah. on the Nielsen TV. Box. Get rid of your Twitter. He keeps it hot oh. on top. Just delete it. Yeah. Speaking of Twitter. Get rid of my Twitter. I haven't seen my Twitter. Twitter in years. <laughs> Neither's your husband. <laughs> <laughs> May he rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> From looking at your Twitter, you should have oh, okay, okay. shaved. Tweet, tweet, uh, tweet. Okay, yes. sorry, but you know the other thing we're talking about Instagram. Uh, a parent, not parent company. That's Facebook. Fuck off, me. Uh, <laughs> Get your social media shit together, I'm Christian. Trying, but Instagram. MySpace? I know. Fuck the off MySpace. me with such a quick retort to, to myself. Yeah. Conversation yeah. I have every morning. Yeah. Hey, Should can, I get you wait, can you please <laughs> add me on Friendster now? Yeah. Should I wake up? <laughs> Fuck you. Dude. Get out of the house. Do you need to? Yeah, no. I want to drive. No, it's a long drive to Burbank. Oh, Fuck God. off. Stop Fuck off me. Fuck off me. <laughs> um, I, sometimes I say, good job, me. Uh, but Instagram. It's like taxi driver, but dummy. Yeah, have, it's dummy taxi driver. So yeah. Have a conversation. What are you doing right now? I don't know. Tell me what I'm doing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> do, you want, do you want food? I think so. Oh, fuck me. You hungry? No, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. What do you want? I got turkey bacon. Yeah. All right, sit down. Are, cool. you, are you hungry or hangry? I don't know yet. I got to figure it out. Uh, oh I my take God. a nap? Instagram. Sure. Christian, you need to, I, we need to find you like an 11 a.m. open mic somewhere. Because you are <laughs> murdering today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're on Fuego. It's true. Hey, anybody got a, a latte for me? <laughs> Put some cream on it, and it's Christian with a K. That's right, not Kristen, fucko. <laughs> it's Kristen with, with an E N. Christian, get it? Let's go to Starbucks and do, do that open mic right it's now. True. You oh, just start God. performing. Yeah, right, just but... you're standing in line, and you just start doing your right. set. <laughs> Who needs a latte? Uh, um, Hi, Christian. Thank you. Arroz con pollo. Café con leche. Hey, I like that yeah. you guys did a different uh, title to the episode today. Well, we had nothing. <laughs> we'll yeah. Oh, good. We'll, we'll talk about. Uh, come on. Do you think people? Okay, well, viewers. Wait, wait, wait. No, I know where you're going to go with this and hold it for a second because okay. I want to try to plug this fuck's uh, Instagram. I'm trying to do it for the mm. last five minutes. Uh, oh. go, go. But, then, but, then, but then you started on your open mic. I know. So well, there's voices in my head, man. <laughs> then they say things like they're good voices, but sometimes they'll just oh, be like, uh, "Fuck you know, off me." Right. Yeah. It's true. Oh. It's true. You're sitting so down. So, Kate. And, Instagram. Yes, she has a an Instagram. It's I almost... haven't seen my Instagram in years. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it then, you filthy animal. Um, your Instagram is at something like 980 is the last yeah. I saw. So we've been pushing but it on the show. But you just started it, right? I know. Yeah, you just started it. No, yeah. everybody's yeah. so yeah. supportive. We're pushing on it. We're trying to get it to 1,000. So let's get that to 1,000 today. That's, today? that's, that's oh, the goal. Oh, I love that. And what is it? It's Kate. It's Mom, it's mom ever. Right. Kate mom And her videos, that's you guys, are one. hilarious. They're, they're really oh, thank good. Thank you. Yes. They're, they're, they're actually, they're some of the funniest I've ever seen. I've not watched one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, They're funny. I yeah. like it. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't promote it. Um, <laughs> it's good. Uh, what were you going to say? Oh, yeah. So, look, I know where you're going to go with this. What you're going to say is you shouldn't reading my we, mind? Yes. You're going to say, shouldn't we lead a lot of these different shows without just in movie headlines? Well, not just movie headlines. Yeah. I love movies, but I would rather talk about a lot of other movies, not just superhero stuff and Me too. Well, you know what yeah. I'd also do? I'd like people to watch the show. Yeah. And the problem is that what we've seen. So, what that's what seen, I'm curious. Like, yes. I would like to ask our listeners and viewers, like, can we do a poll? The hardcore Why don't we do ones, a poll? of course, they'll tune in every day. The problem with new viewers, they tune in because they see. But there's some people that are like, I'm sick of superhero stuff. So I'm I, curious, like, what's the, I agree what's with you, the how percentage? How often do we talk about superhero movies on it? We, we'll talk about it. I mean, and for how long? We'll talk with the main topic. We'll talk about it for a little bit because we still get people complaining yeah. about it. Like, right. oh, I only talked about it for like seven and a half right, minutes. Right, right, right. It's like, well, why, they're going to complain no matter that's what. That's my point. Yeah. So it's just like you title with it, you talk about it, you get into it. And look, when we get Joker news, I'm going to talk about it the right. whole show. I get sure. excited, but sometimes there's just nothing going on. And that's why we went yeah. with today's like title. What did you watch? Like, yeah. we were going to go with who stinks again but then we decided we did yeah. that already yeah yeah do you remember the last time we couldn't find somebody any, replied on our on our the who stinks yeah, yeah. We, they so remember <sighs> never <laughs> forget who stinks yeah we even <laughs> found it out cody did you ever find out who dropped that deuce in the toilet 
No, no, no. I didn't, Christian. Yeah. You didn't Cold do it. case. Mm. I think the evidence is just, it's, it's, it's too far gone. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Man. Never found out. We had our I ideas. What a bummer, Detective idea. Pikachu. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure I know who did it, but I just I can't call the person out. Why not? Because yeah. they don't work here, and, oh. and they're friends of a friend, and it's just like. Fair enough. Yeah, it's, it's, I saw the person at Comic-Con, though, and I said, that's the shitter. I guarantee it is. The it's shitter? Be, yeah. What about the chips? What happened with the barbecue chips, Cody? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Snyder, what? right? Did Snyder, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did we find out about that one? I'll oh, ask you, about it. Hold oh, on. you you gave up on it? Uh, that wasn't my case, Christian. Oh. That was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just, Cody uh, was put on the Zodiac killings. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good. That was Detective Sonic the Hedgehog with creepy human teeth. That's true. Oh. Um, <laughs> speaking of creepy, Roxy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Roxy actually has. Roxy uh, oh, is that's right. not going to be here um, for the whole. We're doing a smoothdown shoot tomorrow, and she can't be here for the second part of it because. Roxy, as we know, is going to be in Madness and the Method, which is the Jason Mewes mm-hmm. directed movie, which we had Jason Mewes in here talking about, it, which is a really fun interview. If you haven't watched that or listened to it, you should. But Roxy will be at the Q&A that they're doing with the screening this Saturday at Universal City Walk. Roxy is going to be there. So if you're going to be around and you live in the SoCal area, go and check out this screening of Madness and the Method. Go meet Roxy yes. Schreier and, uh, and go check it out. It's coming out in theaters and video on demand today, August 2nd. And once again, it's Madness and the Method, Roxy Schreier, and uh, get your tickets on amc.com. There it is. Oh. Nice. Oh. Sorry, I had to do a little punctuation See, I don't there. Care. See, that's my thing. I understand. People that's your people, thing? I have to What's do it. What's your thing? Poop in the pants? Poop in the pants. Uh, <laughs> oh, Cody, pee-pee. speaking of which, uh, what I was thinking about, <laughs> in pants? I was thinking about shit in my pants. And, it, and if you can <laughs> zoom in on my face at the exact moment. No, um, I actually miss a lot of the classic sound bites because we got an email yesterday from a publicist who listens to the show. Mm-hmm. And we were really excited about the fact that he's just, he, he and, and he was writing us as a fan, but still a professionals right. but, yeah. but saying uh, I was going to write in uh, you know cl- uh, John Cena or all yeah. these, <laughs> and he's like but I decided not to worry I'm like I, we responded with win a goldfish here and I, want I, a cookie I, I or whatever the, as Shia says just do just it just do yeah. it and we laughed about it and yeah. I was thinking we're missing we haven't I haven't heard eight and nine I was bit. just thinking that because that's my favorite yeah uh, have you retired a, a couple of these clips I still have them. Okay. No, no, no. But I just didn't know if you, because, you know. As Are a, you sick of them, Cody? No. Yeah. As a creative, yeah. sometimes you want to switch. It's like mm-hmm. it's like when you've been doing comedy for a while and, like, and like do that bit. And yeah. he's yeah, yeah, I've been doing new bits. He's got the John Cena is one of his new bits. The uh, Orlando is one of his new bits. But uh, I'd like to see some Orlando. of the- <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My favorite. I, I'd like to see some of the classes come back. My wife, so good. My wife is. God, uh, we, we were talking about. I want her to come to the show in October, but we don't know if she oh, can. Oh yeah, why? It's because the kids start school right at that oh, time, yeah. and it's tough. Can to, we please do a Halloween episode, or can we just dress up like once at least? Yeah, well, didn't we do that last year? No. Nah. Did you guys dress up? No, you didn't. Pretend that we did. No, you're too <laughs> no. lazy. No. Well, we, did, we did it once. Halloween's going to be on a Schmose. Saturday now, so. Uh, <laughs> the end of the month. All right, <laughs> so we'll do a Saturday show. No, cool. that's, that's a throwback to, to No, yesterday. Saturday, actually, or no, it's going to be on a Thursday. No, no, no. The petition went through. So Saturday. Mark oh, Riley. Did, yeah, Halloween, it's done. I it's done. do not give any <laughs> fluffs <laughs> about what no these lame fluffs. parents uh, think about. <laughs> no more fluffy for also, you, I was fucker. Also, I was corrected by uh, people that actually uh, speak. No, no, no. Speak oh. properly. Like, Because uh, I said, I read everything in Spanish, mm. even if it's in English. Yeah. So uh, I was talking about the, the Sam Hine Festival, oh. which, is, which is not how you say it at all. Oh. So Because uh, it's spelled S-A-M-H-A-N. A-I-N. Is that when McCougar and I went into our baseball thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Sam Hines. Yeah, but I don't know how to say it. Somebody corrected me, but I was like, I, it, it says, like, it's like Sal Wow or something. I don't know. Sam Anyways, wow. I don't, I'm saying do it wrong. Get, how do you get Sam Hine out of Sam Wow? How does that come I don't come know. About? But it's it's because that's like people that, what, that are in Wales? I find it shocking that like, oh, I corrected. It's, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting. If it's like a cousin of Gaelic. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's like it's, you explained to me why the why the name Siobhan has a B and an H in it. Oh my God, I have a friend I know, and I would read that and go it's Siobhan. H, it's, you, it's have S- you have a friend that you know. That's good. Yeah, See, I have read a friend that. that I know. Wow. Sam Hyde is pronounced Sawin. <laughs> How would you pronounce that in English? Sawin. 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 Sawin and a miss. Wait, okay, so wait, they're wait, laughing at us Sowen. right now. Rhyming with it's a Gaelic. I guessed Gaelic. Okay. Uh, so Sowen. 
Sawin. Yeah. Sawin. That's Sawin. super interesting. Like Siobhan is S I O B H A N. Well, look, it's so, 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 sourcey, right? That was nice, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. like it was a conversation. Oh, no, they didn't correct me in a bad way. They were just like, oh, right. like, like yeah. and I like knowing that stuff because I say stuff wrong all did, the time. They didn't I say correct Southern. you in a bad way like Makuga yesterday when he said dummy twice. That was really <laughs> funny. Some people were like, I didn't c- like Josh calling Darina a dumbass. I'm like, I call him a dummy every all day. Time, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. It's, it was good. Well, that was the day. I had, I had someone internally at one point say that like uh, I don't know what we called you like hey fucko or something to, to you yeah, yeah. like I don't think you should talk to Serena like that I'm like Serena would get mad at me if I didn't talk to her like I know yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> equality equality so you are exactly all right. it's not, it's fucking dumbass it's not just that the equality it's the fact that you're one of the, you're one of the crew I'm a fan like, like, like her like can you like I start off the show like if someone comes in and it's I don't know, Liam Neeson. Yeah. I'm not going to start off the show going, how you doing, you Irish fuck? Like, <laughs> but the Kate Mulligan. Because you're known, not friends with him. That's right. Yeah. And the, and like, Which is very sad that you're not a, friends with Liam Neeson. It goes back to the Why whole... You, wow. With yeah. Liam Neeson an option over me, you should have gone with him. <laughs> <laughs> Equality. Oh. Actually, I don't know. I'm sure Liam said something offensive and Cody. people hate him. I'm sure. You, you guys did, don't know he, this. He I actually, actually know how to Irish. <laughs> he did, right? He, but he, he actually did say something. Oh, very there you offensive. go. So yeah. you don't want to be friends with him, I guess. No, uh, he, yeah, that's that's a whole other can of worms. Um, but no, he, his, <laughs> his comments ceiling, were not. Cody, you're according to him. <laughs> Cody and I are having a moment here, guys. Sorry, sorry Cody, do it again. <laughs> Kate's, Kate's the answer right now. What are you, okay, here they come. Kate's gonna how dance. How do you Irish can, Jake? You can you teach how, us? You can't hear the music. How are you gonna dance? She's gonna dance. She can dance. But she's still on. She's got the rhythm in her heart. Is it still on? Can you do it, Michael? Is it still on? Yes. I'll wrap it. Cody, turn it up for a little bit. Yeah, give me some. Give me a bit. All right, it's on. Do it. Do it. And now she got. Oh, there you go. Oh my God. She's doing the kick step. Michael Flatley over here. Look how happy she is. She's so excited. The girls are bouncing. They're really bouncing. I love this part of Titanic. That was so good. Yeah. Very good. Very nice. You're like Michael Five. Flatley. Your legs are moving independently from your body. Yeah, it's really I freaky. You to, I want you to be completely honest. Friends. With me. Yes. Shh, shh. <laughs> How honest? How exhausted are you? <laughs> <laughs> also, I have to tell you, I, I'm winded. I'm gonna that. give you. I'm gonna give you a real insight into my body. <laughs> I yes. found my it just. I found my hard shoes. So that's the. Those are the clicky shoes, right? Uh-huh. So the gillies are the soft shoes. You guys, I'm legit out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually did this. Like, yeah, I mean, not competitively. I started way too late to do it competitively. Yeah. Uh-huh. But this is actually how I met my husband. Was I was Irish step dancing? Oh. And he was. He happened to be. He at was the, drunk. Oh, he was. So yeah, no question. <laughs> <laughs> no one sober has ever been like you. <laughs> or there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or there. Um, but anyway, I like my vagina hurts when I dance now. <laughs> it's not something now that, I knew was. No, that's a shirt. Yeah, no, that's my vagina hurts when I did. That makes I sense. I was like, I was like trying. To, yeah. <laughs> Cody, you take notes because your your You're wife's days it. are numbered, numbered oh my, my friend. God. It's called the pelvic floor. Eventually, it's a floor I didn't know about, and now that I don't have it anymore, I'm acutely you know about aware. It now. So yeah. you just, it's just, what is it now? It's like a it pelvic feels like, basement. It feels like, like a, it's like, like you know when, you know John McClane dropped that bomb in the middle of the elevator. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> No, it just it's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just the searing pain because your muscles aren't what they used the old gray Mary and what she used do you to need do. Do we need to do Kegel exercises well, together? If, if one more person tells me to do Kegel exercises, I'm gonna stick my fist or up course their vagina. <laughs> no, but I don't know if that's a no, thing. No, I know. I just they know say, they say it is, but they're is like it? people actually go to like yeah, therapy. She's just trying like, to help. People like actually like have it worked out. This I think it's just like it's a. Please don't yell at Serena. She's just trying to help. She's not yelling at me. She's just pissed because her vagina's not working. Working properly, and I completely <laughs> sympathize, and I want to help her. I, I'm aware I want to help Kate's you. vagina. Yeah. <laughs> she's secretly. I think it's a lot. Of, I should be doing planks. I think a lot more yeah. planks. Look, here's news. This mine is... got tighter after ballet. So if you oh. want to come to ballet yeah. with me, Cody, I, I want to. I, yeah. I want to throw some news at you here because uh, this 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 floored me today. Well, what are you doing? Ballet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What floored you. What floored you? I what pelvic floored I'm you? I'm not sure if anybody knew this, but I found this out today. And Cody, if you knew this, you have to tell me. Do you know that Ricky the Dragon Steamboat came back to the WWE in 2009? No. I did not Crickets. know that. You can't, yeah, for you guys, you don't know what the yeah, fuck I'm talking about. Talking about. I, know, I know him. Wait, yeah. who was who it again? Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He's, he's one of the... Why does he sound familiar? Yeah, what is, when is he from? I knew when I was in so wrestling when is he with from? Hulk Hogan. And, he's from the 80s. Okay, so maybe yeah. that's why yeah, I heard You probably his knew him. Yeah, yeah. He, he, the best match ever to this day is WrestleMania 3, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Macho Man Randy Savage for the Intercontinental title. Um, but he came back in 2009 and... He wrestled somebody, friend of the show. Who would you? Who would you? Who would you guess? 
Wait, uh, friend of the show. Jay friend Washington. of the show. I was, I, that was my first guess. Jay was Washington Jane. at WrestleMania? No. Oh, um, when was this? It was, it was, it was, when was John Roca. It was not John Roca. This was in 2009, and it was at Backlash, I believe it was. It was like a real pay per view. WWE pay per view. Friend of the show. Mm hmm. Chris Jericho. Really? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, oh, he, he wrestled Chris decided. Jericho. Yeah, Jericho is is. Uh, we need to get him back immediately. By the way, you need what, to get him on a, the Shmoda. It was one. He wants to come on yeah. the Shmoda. He was he to me I, that interview was one that we got, kept getting. I, I would go into screening the other night and I had like four people say, "Man, the the Jericho interview," and it wasn't really much of an interview as much as just like asking a couple questions with him just. Talking because he's such a great talker and he's right. just a conversationalist and it's like that's the type of guest I want. Oh yeah. All, and and the directors of uh, uh, the Peanut Butter Falcon. Yeah. Like those guys. It's like, like Frank the Grillo too was like right. they're, they're all just they're, chatting it up. They don't. They just want to feel like they're just yeah. fucking around and Listen, having a conversation and not and like not welcome to the, the same, same question. Start uh, talked about this up top. It word is spreading. People people are reaching out to me now. And, you know, getting good names reaching out. Yeah, so this is it, really, really exciting. It, but you know what it is, though, and honestly, you think it's because it's authentic. Because yes, we're just it's being the authentic, but it's humans. also, but it's the audience. It's the audience, and the audience response to people. Like, like when I go to the show, when we were at the Schmodown, how many people I have coming up saying that they enjoy just watching or listening to Clara live in the morning because mm -hmm. it's just to them. It's their radio show. They listen to the car. They mm -hmm. have. A, that's all it is because they feel like they're fucking around. It's nothing like you know we're not we're not like we're not doing brain surgery over no. here. We're just having conversations. And, and, Good and thing we're not doing brain surgery. Everybody would be dead. Yeah. Yes. Um, but <laughs> but the point is yeah. that it's just it's it's a different flow, and I think that that's the one thing is in anything right. Like like when we started in the space, myself and Mark, there weren't a lot of people doing movie reviews, and then there weren't there were no no one was really doing long form discussions on movies at all so when we started doing our two hour show right um, and then it just it, it caught on a lot of people are and then it became panel shows and people a lot of people just do panel shows and and you, you like them you don't like them it's it, yeah. whatever but we just wanted to move on and do other things and I think that that's why um, you, you know I think that that's why the audience has responded and I think that's why celebrities and or people like to come in here because they're just shooting the shit and that's mm -hmm. another reason for example too Kate and Brett will tell you they can't talk about movies a lot because she didn't have a chance to watch a lot of them, right? right? But yeah. she's become one of the most popular people on the show. I know you don't like to hear that. Oh, you love to hear that. Well, um, but I don't know that that's even true. It is very true. true. Everyone and loves everyone Kate loves and that's, Brett. Because, that's very be, nice, because so. you, you're not putting a strain on her to just have to talk about movies. Mm -hmm. She can do a fucking dance in the corner if she wants to. And it's, yeah, it's, and, and it's a great. It was my great vagina so, into my butt. So, so, right. so the, 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 bot, the bottom line as she rolls her vagina up uh, is that... <laughs> Is instead of, I, instead of an Irish like Jake, it's an Irish shade. broken bed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll just uh, do it from here. Yeah, do it from here. Just bounce up into that chair is, is having a good You're time. You're gonna have to teach us, by the way. Yeah. Now. Oh, I sure will. Um, but anyway, it's it's really we want we want to thank the audience here. We really yes. want to thank the you audience. You guys are the best fans, man. It's Every, a dedicated it's audience. So cool. It's a dedicated audience. It is a very loyal audience. It is it, a vocal audience, it's and a I think that's audience. why a lot of people love coming on the show because then the fans are telling them. Yeah. And I've watched your, Whoa. I watched your movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, you know, thank you for coming on. Great interview. T tagging these people and talking. To, if, if you like it, don't spam them. But if you like what they said in the interview and you go back and you watch old archive stuff, absolutely let them know because it, it shows your voice and it shows the support here and the hashtag on Collider Live. And it, it gets the word out. And you guys have been doing that. And I, we cannot thank you enough for, yeah. the, for the support. Uh, the good and the bad. The good and the bad. Because it's it, we like I, I can tell you from doing this show for the last year, I learned a lot mm -hmm. about myself. Yeah. Over the last year, like, and I know, and that's like I, why I read the comments. I'm like, if somebody's, like, you know, sometimes they are, a lot of the time they're yeah. dumb, but sometimes they are constructive. Sometimes there sometimes are for it sure. Does help. I just, I, I've learned more about, like I said, and I, and I crack jokes on it now, like the whole situation that happened with with Galaxy's Edge and all that stuff too. I, I learned a lot from the good people that were basically telling, hey, you fucked up, buddy. Mm -hmm. Like, and like, what are you gonna say? And I said, well, I, I fucked up. And like, all right, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. And it, they. Because that's all you need to do. Just acknowledge and. But it's that type of relationship that we have, and I'm using myself as an example because I'm the one who brought it up. But it's like I, I think that that's the type of conversations that we have here, and that's the kind of relationship that we have with this audience. And I hope to have that with a lot of people inside of like the the community as well. You're not. Yeah. There's some people, to be honest with you, too. People they've asked me about certain people in in the YouTube space that, um, whether they've been vocal or not, and uh, against things that we've we've done, and I've said, well, well, what do you think about these people? And I and I said, I would actually like to work. With yeah. those people, I was like, I, I they, they're reporters inside of this space and things that they do, like whether it's their 
job is to report on the stuff that we that we're doing. If they make videos off of us, right, or mm -hmm. or in general, that's what they do. You mm -hmm. give people fodder, you give people you give people material, they're going to use it. So I never had any ill will towards anybody who ever made a video about me or anything no. or us or anything along those lines. And there's some people that have made those videos that I would very much like. The perfect example is that guy that came up to me at Comic Con. Yeah, like yeah. that guy was a nice guy. He was a cool guy. I would do something with him. Um, but so I, I know I, I th I'm just trying to do a more I guess Zen type thing these days. So whether or not I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Not. Join join us. Be a goth hippie. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> join us. Join one us. One of us. You're, like, you're talking about us. the six voices inside of your head. Right? <laughs> so join it's us. actually you six, six, six. Oh, <laughs> we're all going to die. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. One in. of them is is uh, Riley's grandma. No. <laughs> oh shit! Did, did she come by? Yeah. yeah. Did you get that thing I tweeted you uh, today about the the, the dog? dog? Yes. Isn't that great? I just right before we went on air. Drew this McSweeney posted out this dog. Thing. Just, he's just chilling. Chilling in the can tub. You, can oh. you just like hey. Cody? Can you bring out my Twitter? Just go to tweets and replies and um. And there's something I tagged Riley on. I just love dogs. I haven't about seen it. your Twitter in years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> His Twitter went back just, inside uh, after the yeah. thing. It's like a like a slinky. Uh, uh, my like, my son, my youngest son, has hidden penis. That's a real hidden thing. penis. <laughs> what yeah, when your baby fat go, so go, fat. Wait, what yeah, is that? Was, the the Drew McQueen, oh, Riley went. All right, so look at this. Look at this dog. Oh. This dog. Wait, wait, oh. Look at this dog. This dog is just chilling out. Oh my. That dog. That's, that's going to be me on vacation. Good for him or her, whatever. Who cares? Oh, whatever oh the God. dog identifies as. Yeah, but 89,000. <laughs> 89, oh, my God. 89,000 oh. people watch this, and they should. 89 million people should but watch like, this. But, like, does oh the God. dog look relaxed or depressed? No, that dog's relaxed. relaxed. Okay. Yeah, it's that funny. Dog is I have to say, I was sort of like, or this both. dog's you can be about both. to die. No. <laughs> this that dog, dog? has given up. No, no way. This dog no. looks chill that as dog, fuck. This dog's like, get the fuck out of There's no it looks life scummy. in its eyes. When a yeah. dog hits a certain age, I learned this with Cal. He would find little spots and little areas where I'd be like, he looks like an old man sitting there. But yeah. he was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just, just chill. Comfortable as yeah. hell. Farting yeah, right. in the tub, okay. having a blast. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, oh let's move God. on to some stuff. Like, uh, the main topic, I guess, last night is what you watched last night. Yeah. What did you watch last night? I, I, I will start. Darina, <sighs> guess what I watched? Finally. Your stupid face in the mirror when you were well, yeah. doing dummy taxi driver. Yeah, they definitely did that. But no, <laughs> I watched the, the second half of Avengers Endgame last night. It's going to oh. take me three days to finish it, like I, <laughs> a, like I said. Um, that's with, that's with, how parents watch Endgame. Well, <laughs> they yeah. just watch it in oh, stages. Yeah. Listen, yeah. let me tell you, you're going to understand this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So last night, the, the goal is to get the kids sleeping by 10 to 8 so we have enough time to finish this fucking movie. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 8.15, 8.30. Wife's still like, I just want to take a shower. I'm going to be fine. The oldest is like, we're going on vacation soon. She's just like, I'm thinking about vacation. And it's just like, how about you go to sleep? Think about it. Dream about it. Right? <laughs> and, and so instead, she's up until like 845. No. And running back and forth. And I go, I'm, I'm telling you right now. You get back in that room, or you're not gonna see that iPad for six years, right? And she's like, and so she's like, all right, just finally goes in there. We start the movie at 45. We got, we got into. So she should have been like, I'm Thick Thor. I'm performing the movie for right. you. She should have. <laughs> Avengers Endgame. If you haven't seen it already, tough shit. Um, so it, we we got to <laughs> the part shit. where uh, Thanos comes back and and blows up the Avengers uh, compound. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So then getting we're, ready. we're getting ready there. So yeah. we so we paused it. We paused it right there, and that's where we're gonna. Because I looked and because I said, oh, what's it like 15 minutes? It's, not, it's like 45 minutes left. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like we're, we're good. So we'll finish, we'll finish it tonight. Favorite part of the but movie is yes. coming up right there. But she, my wife, she won't listen to this episode. So she was, again, spoilers for Avengers. Um, we were watching it, and the Black Widow and um, Hawkeye scene happened, mm -hmm. right? And so when when Black Widow bites the dust, Sadie goes, wait, wait a minute. She's not going to be any more of the movies? Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm going, oh, you're really going to you lose shit when yeah. fucking Tony goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, no, no, she's going to do a prequel. And so now I'm going to say, like, I, I keep setting it up. And I think at one point I said to her, I was like, yeah, I can't. Robert Downey Jr., lucked out. He's going to be making these movies forever. <laughs> so like, setting, her up. Really, I'm setting her up. I love her up. It. Anyway, so that's what I, I, I want. She's gonna be like, "What else are you know. lying to me about?" <laughs> <laughs> Let me check your phone. Yeah, get, hand over your yeah. phone. Which phone away. other Avenger went? Yeah. Right, that's true. <laughs> stop using the Young Face app. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever trust you after Tony Stark. I did it to Is my that the photo you posted today of you and your wife? No, that was that was legit. <laughs> no, that was that was like from ten I, years ago. That I picture, was on I was on the beach with you. Okay. That was the day I was yeah. there with my ex. That's yeah. so funny because I was like, either sex happened just before this picture or sex was about to happen. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, 
I and I was there. I was there. <laughs> I was say, now that I know Raleigh was there, I know it definitely happened yeah. after. Yeah, that was 10 um, years ago. Oh, my God. I literally, I was like, oh. Oh, like I could smell the sex. The yeah, sex. I posted. Yeah. I posted. Oh. They're talking. I posted a picture on my Instagram. Yeah. My wife and I from like ten years ago. And I, in my head, I was it's just really back in photo. the day when real, I was yeah. young. And, yeah. and I started saying, "Yeah, you know, I'll post that." And then people were doing the rest of the lyrics on it. I I liked it immediately because I was like, "Oh, they lo- they totally look like they just did oh. it." Like, yeah. Yeah. There was like you guys were so sexy together. I was like, "Yeah, oh, good yeah. for them." Like, like they like each other. Yes, exactly. You liked each other. you guys are. That's when you knew me. That's you guys are even sexier now because of all the crap you been through and you're oh, still together you. and you have awesome kids. No, Same you're for definitely you sexier then. <laughs> <that being said. laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that you two are still working together. That's, that's right. The thing. That's you the know truth. what I mean? No, and hopefully no you're still working together. Yeah. 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 We have two kids and that's that's it. Now we just watch TV until 12 and pass out. Or 11. Yeah. 11. Um, the kids will get older though. Yeah. They will. Yes. And then you guys can have more sex and then the, you know, that, the kids I, will be I, adults I, and they'll have sex at some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Um, well, but good anyway. luck. My son has hidden penis. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Well, and you, and well, listen. That's I heard actually you. what the doctor calls it. He's like, oh, yeah, he's got hidden penis. That, I was like, that, that can't technical? be the technical term. I thought he was going to call it, where is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you have Donde? A, you like, listen to, you've got, like, a ca- you've got a case of the where is it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I had to tell you, your son has two belly buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Carlin bit, doesn't it? Is a, is a, is a, <laughs> so I hate to tell you this, but you got a case of where is it? <laughs> so what did you guys watch last night, oh, yeah. Kate and Mark? Uh, well, I watched uh, yeah. Euphoria. We watched Euphoria. No. Yeah. <laughs> Euphoria. Yeah. Did you watch Euphoria? Euphoria. Did you watch it again? No uh, wonder you yeah, haven't said Yeah, two anything. episodes of Euphoria last mm-hmm. night. We're almost we're we're almost on the last episode before I guess the season finale is uh, is on Sunday. You're so. liking it. Y- yes, I d- yes, I can't. No, no, no. I can't. It's su- the subject Whoa. matter is so hard to get through sometimes, yeah. but I can't look away. Right, right. I do. I love it. I love. It. I think the performances across the board are fantastic. It is shot beautifully. Mm-hmm. It is. It just. You feel like you're in a fever dream. You feel cool. like you're on drugs watching this thing. Cool. The way it's shot and Zendaya. She's amazing, right? In yeah, that's I love her. Incredible. Yeah. My favorite, MJ. Yeah. I love her. She, yeah. she is great. So this, this ep- yeah, we were watching it last night, and Ju- Julie's always like, I'm like, you want to watch Euphoria? That's how I go into it, because I want to watch every episode. And she, and she does, but, but she, has she, to, gotta, she has to, she has to like. Get ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ready? Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. She's right. like yeah. Kylo Ren after she gets <laughs> shot. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right, so you're watching that, so that's why you've been so fucked up today. Yeah. Uh, and, and how about you? What you want? I watched. I binged the entire season of Comedians in Cars. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. I want to see What's that. your favorite nice episode? I got to tell you, Eddie Murphy is such an enigma because yeah. he's so out of the limelight mm-hmm. and he's not necessarily funny in that episode. That's what people are saying. Yeah. But it is, you are watching, like, you're just watching You're legend. so fascinated. Yeah, yeah, and it's, I, I mean, obviously, I think him, I think Ricky Gervais and Jerry Seinfeld have, like, great chemistry. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I, you know, he dipped, he dipped back into the, the pond, uh, you know, the 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 comedian pool. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've already seen episodes with some some people, like Sebastian was back yeah, on yeah. and stuff. And I sort of was like, well, there's tons of other comedians <laughs> that you right. could like. So there was some I didn't. I was just sort of like, eh. I mean, but, what's um, the deal with Kate? Give me notes on my show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's the deal with Kate's broken vagina? Why don't you? Yeah. I mean, is it a vagina? Is it broken? What is it? Let's oh, figure it out. Let's figure it out. Come on. But Melissa Villasenor is somebody who I oh, didn't yeah. really know. Villasenor, yes. Villasenor, sorry, yes. am I saying it right? I, I, I'm sorry. Well, I just always said because Adam, Adam, Sal- well, Adam Ray and Salen. Melissa were fans of her. Uh, she, friends with her. She does the greatest impressions. Ever. I've yeah. never seen anything like that in my life. But she also has this laugh that, like, people like were getting all over her about. Did you see the, the, no. these episodes? Yeah, yeah. People she were just, criticizing her laugh? Well, she does it a lot. Like, it's actually something I noticed. So she's like, ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 her laugh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Cody. So, so I am hiring you to be in my horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> but she's such a sweetheart and she's so cute. But then I saw like she was like I I, did, I know I giggled a lot. I was with Jerry Seinfeld. Like she like had to like I felt terrible. Kate, People yeah. called her out on it. I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. Yeah. Every Monday, yeah. Wednesday, and Friday, I would like you to come in here, and at a certain time, <laughs> I want you to find Jack Hind. And while he's working, I want you to do that laugh. <laughs> I co-signed to this idea. Uh, <laughs> just, just please. randomly, just for no Should reason. Should do it after the show. Yes, please, I, yeah. please. And if we can get that on video, it'd be amazing. Okay, so she watched it. comedian cars. He watched Euphoria. I watched 
uh, an hour of Endgame. Endgame. Would you watch Queen of Death? I had sex. Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, but I also With? watched. Uh, I can't tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, yeah. Someone awesome. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, uh, I actually have been trying to finish You're the Worst. Uh, Thank you. Which is the FX show that I love. Oh, it's yeah. one of my favorite uh, dark comedies of the last few years. Uh, and uh, FX does everything I watch from FX is great. What We Do in the Shadows, Legion. Oh, love it. They, they just do, I mean, obviously, American Horror Story. They do so much good stuff. What are you laughing at? I just picture, like, there's some guy just typing on his thing. He's kind of listening in the background. He's just like, would you watch this? And I had sex. Like, huh? <laughs> 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 it's like, he, he became an instant meme. Remember that gif I sent you on yeah, text yeah, yeah. yesterday? It's like that. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, right. He's that guy. But yeah, no, uh, it's so good, you guys. I really recommend it. I, you guys are all going to love it. Okay. it it's cuz it's it's just so real like the, the the characters are cartoonish versions of like, you know, horrible people but you still empathize with them and it's based in LA and it's basically a writer and a and a publicist that live no, in LA together and there's this like relationship that they have and it's crazy and it's just it's obviously for adults. It's definitely not for kids but yeah. great fucking cool. show. All right, well that's what everybody here watched. Wait, so you had sex with the show? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> while I'm trying watching to, while show. watching it. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's a multitasking at its best. Sure. No. Wait, pause. Well, Wait, I don't me? Have... No, 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 the show. No, because I'm really busy, so you got to, like, you know. Multitasking. Yeah, exactly. No, I got it. Kind of fit shit going. in, you know? Yeah. yeah. Literally. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm really enjoying today's show. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. This is Good. fun, you guys. Good. It's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. Cool. A little drinking, uh, little dancing, well, little night And Kate's exhausted again. All right, so guess, we're gonna go. Guess. We're gonna go to. Uh, we're we'll gonna go to the phone lines in a little bit too. But yeah. we. I want to hear from you guys. Comment uh, what you watched last night. Tell us what you watched. Maybe start a conversation in the in the group there with each other about what you watched last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any news worth talking about today? That's, I mean, there, I know it's, that Nolan's, it's been pretty. No, Nolan showed his his teaser trailer yeah. only in the theater though. Is it, it's in it? the it's in the theater. I I haven't heard much uh, other than it's like a title card and like it's John a, David Washington right, so we walking. Don't know what it is. Okay. That's what I've heard, so okay. sorry for spoiling so that nobody, teaser for you, everyone. Knows what that is. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm <laughs> right. sure it's just to get the hype going. Um, yeah. I like this piece of news because this is one a, a director that I think is mm -hmm. one of the best. Yes, do, has done movies that are like very like oh, mm -hmm. and it's Adrian Lin, Fatal Attraction, oh, yeah. Unfaithful, Flashdance. Uh, he is oh now God. signed on to direct Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas yeah. uh, for Deep Water from Blade Runner 2049. She's That's great. Right. She's fantastic. And it's about a married couple that you know they're they're. You know, having problems, and so they decide to take uh, you know, lovers oh. on either end, Lovers. and then these different people that they start interacting with outside of their marriage start to turn up dead. Uh -oh. So it's Shit like it's a thriller. Shit going down. But Adrian Lynn hasn't directed something for like a decade. Oh wow! So I love that news. I don't I know if you how guys that comes about. I mean, I'm sure it'll come about like yeah. interviews leading up to the project. But like how? Because there's so many act, uh, directors out there too. How do they go? You know, we want to go to Adrian Lynn. Yeah. Like, like, well, and I, also, or maybe they just bring their own projects to them, right? Because possibly. there are directors like that, like uh, uh, Panos Cosmatos, who did Mandy and Beyond the Black Rainbow. Like he, he's only done two movies ever. He's the son of the director of Tombstone. Hmm. And uh, and then you have people like Anna Biller who did uh, these other smaller movies like Love Witch and Viva, and that's just like their babies that they work on these movies for like eight years. Yeah. You know, so that does happen too, where they just want to make a great movie. You know, a couple of times. Like, right. That's yeah. pretty cool. So I, I am very curious to see how that kind of came about, but it's good to see what he's going to do and I, what they're going to do with that particular Yeah, movie. I think every movie he does is, is I love Unfaithful. Yeah. Unfaithful is like hard to watch, but it's a yeah, great it's movie. Fantastic. Fatal Attraction, yeah. obviously, nine and a half weeks and decent proposal. I mean, come oh, on. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, uh, yeah. So this is exciting. Who's the husband in that? In the, in is which it Richard Gear? Unfaithful? In Unfaithful, yes. Richard Gear. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Diane Lane's yeah, yeah. Excellent. Diane Lane. Excellent oh, in that God. movie. She's a star. And what is she's, uh, so, she's so, she, uh, like, that whole scene is so well, hot. She, and, all, it's, all who's the guy? It's, He's uh, the dude from uh, Xerxes, isn't it? From, uh, from It's John Cena. <laughs> no, That's no, it. From, from uh, Lost oh, and 300. Uh, all, all, isn't it? Oliver. All, isn't, it, isn't it Halle Berry's ex-husband? Yeah. Uh, was Olivia Martinez. Halle Berry. Yeah. Is that who I'm thinking Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Look at Kate. No, See, you know movie stuff. Yeah, that's one that I be that Olivia came out before Martinez? kids. Oh, no. I might be wrong. I, might be no, wrong. I thought it was I it. thought it was the guy from Lost. Um, uh, also, I'm reaching out to or Mark and I are going to try to reach out to Horror Nights to take Josh. Josh. Yeah, uh, but well, also us, there's us. the It Chapter Two uh, thingy going on What's in that? Hollywood that what I went to when the first movie came out, yeah. and they're bringing it back. So I want to do that it? too. Olivia Martinez. It's like it's it's is that also the guy from Lost. Jordan fades. What is it? Olivia Martinez. Can we bring up his his picture, Cody? 
Who? What's Who? his name? Olivia Martinez. Okay, because I, I, I it's like Olivia. pronounced Sewen. Olivier. Ali, like Olivia. Olivier. Olivia. Olivia. I'm trying to. I'm Olivia. trying to look like, at it. No, like. Resume. Oh, I V R. He's the fourth one. He's the yeah I E R. Doesn't write. I think he's lost. That's not no. That's not the guy I'm thinking. No. Yeah, that's that's who it is, but that's not the guy. I'm that's Halle but, Berry's ex. That's a pretty okay. dude. Okay, never mind. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Look, look at that jawline. That makes yeah. sense. Um, Hello. Okay, listen. Uh, so we can get that's uh, that's everything news wise, right? Anything else uh, worth a damn? Uh, mm. Anything worth a damn? We got a, a purge five is happening. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Whatever. I think we knew that's coming. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, let's open up the phone line. So if you want to tell us about what you watched last night, that's fine. If you want to talk about anything we talked about on the show, also fine. Anything else you want to talk about? Guess what? Fine. That's fine. Uh, Cody, you got anybody? Not, not right now, Derek. Derek. Not, not right, right now, Derek. Derek. <laughs> I'm also curious what happens in that booth sometimes because sometimes it's like the way that the the, the Skype works uh-huh. is that it just it's it's moving fast. He's got a shit ton of them, and sometimes it just either they're not calling in or it just what happens normally. That was Cody? on me. I didn't have the number up uh, oh. until you just now brought it up, so right. it's going to take a second. It's going to take a second. Okay. Like right now. Not right now. Oh. Nice. nice. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Scott from Wisconsin. How are you guys doing? Hey, Scott. Hello, Scott. What's going on today? Are, are, have you been watching us lose our minds today, or what? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Good. Uh, uh, what do you got for us today? So I had a couple questions. I've been listening since day one, sure. and Aww. I feel like I know most of the sound bites, but I'm just curious as to where a few of them actually come from. Sure. Which ones? As, like, well, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that. That's one, yeah, that one. That one we get uh, a question from off, even from people on the show. So there was a. If you watch the fighter, the movie The Fighter, um, Christian Bale plays Dickie Ward. Mm-hmm. So I knew of Dickie Ward because when I I don't know when I first got out here, there was a documentary on HBO that they even reference in the movie called High on Crack Street in Lowell, Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. Now the whole documentary itself is mm-hmm. pretty fucked up, right? Yeah. It's, it's hard to watch, but there's one scene. There's one scene where the one crackhead woman is being pursued by her crackhead boyfriend, Boo Boo, and she's staying oh, at boo-boo. her boo-boo. drunk boyfriend's house who's got an even drunker friend. Oh, you garbage? You want to call a garbage boy? Also from the doc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, it is a full-on comedy scene. Mm-hmm. For you better listen, Jack. All this stuff comes from that. And it is, yeah. we quoted it. Is that you better listen, Jack? You garbage, mm-hmm. garbage that I've been saying on movie track. talk comes from this. Um, oh my so it, it, that's all those sound bites, those wonderful sound bites, come from that one scene. It's really the, good scene. It's, <laughs> it is an incredible scene. It is a sad scene mm-hmm. when you think about it uh, in general. But the personalities, are, even the cop that comes in, it's just like who's Boo Boo? Yeah, and it's, it's 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 it's, it's a f- really funny scene. Anyway, so that's that's where it comes from. How about another? You got to want another another bite? He left. Yeah, uh, oh, so. I thought I'd hit Alex. Oh, hey, Alex. Cody, where's that come from? That's, that, that, hey, that. Alex is from the same video as the band. Uh, it's from Balloon Shop. It's this uh, old YouTube channel that me and uh, Christian Rubicaba love. Yeah. Hey, there Alex. You yeah, there you go. Because uh, it sounds like Christian to me. Christian I, I, I always thought it was you. <laughs> no, no, no. So is there... So hey, Alex. You, you got another one? Uh, well, I was going to ask about band. Yeah, same one. Same one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 named Alex. Yeah. And every time I see him, I'm like, hey, Alex. And he's like, what? I can't. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, I, I can't call Alex, or, uh, besides not being able to call him Chips, I can't call him Alex anymore. I just literally call him Hey Alex. Right. Every Does time that make sense? Yeah, because mm-hmm. like, I was doing Hey Alex before that room came up, and now, now now it's whether or not you want to throw in the Hey Alex. <laughs> uh, hey yeah. Alex. Right. Yes. I also love that our Collider uh, live viewers and, and, and fans like actually do all this stuff to other people that don't listen to the I show. Yes. Uh, yeah. And it's basically a, a form of trolling. Nine. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. They're like eight, nine. <laughs> Think about when winning goldfish was hot. Yeah, yeah I mean, exactly. That, 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 people were so confused. Winning goldfish, yeah. People, winning goldfish, yeah. <laughs> people were so confused. Like other people in our space, when they kept seeing that that gift popping up. Yeah. Oh, it was the best. I liked it. But it's but. The- <laughs> Yeah, but then some people in the office were so annoyed. Like Torian's like, I'm oh. blocking everyone yeah. that but then, uses but, that camp. But then he so started good. getting on board with yeah, that. Yeah, it was yeah, really so funny. funny. I, pulled, um, I pulled that out for a Twitter exchange the other day, and it was perfect. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, it's really mm-hmm. perfect. All right, thank you for the phone call. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you, Cody. Let us Bye, know Scott. another one. So you could remember yeah. names, huh? Yeah. I'm not well, good. I don't know. I'm no, not. That was Scott from Wisconsin. Hey, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, it's all. How you doing? Hey, it's all. 
Saul, what's going on? Saul, have you, uh, have you become, because of, of your appearances on the show, are you now a celebrity in your neighborhood? Oh, yeah, it's incredible. Perfect. Everyone, my niece, my nephew, they, all they want to do is talk about it. Good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Um, so, okay, so Saul, last time you were on the show, you insulted me, and it was almost your last appearance, but you, you've since uh, made up for yourself. Um, I was actually, actually thinking of him replace you. <laughs> do you think so? Uh, you know what? It's not a bad idea. It really is not a bad idea. I, and, and you want the, the ratings is, to go up? Here we are. The ratings would go up, and I probably would listen to that show every day. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so you're not this, you're not as stupid as you look. All right. <laughs> you can't say that to her. I'm sorry. You're stupid. You're uh, stupid. Uh, all right, Saul. So, uh, and we just call it, uh, he's got the bacon. Call Saul. No, that's a show. So I know. Talk, oh, talk you know that already. You yeah. want to spin it off again? Yeah. Well, you're, well yeah. you're in Hollywood. Might as well just steal something <laughs> I'm else. just saying. All right, Saul, what do you got for us today? Oh, I just want to call in. I had a weird, I watched two weird, mo- like a weird combination of movies last night. Nice. I watched the, I watched the Outsiders. Yes. And then, immediate, and then immediately, because I watched the Outsiders, I had to watch The Fifth Element. Oh. Why? why, why wait. That, that is hysterical. So why, why did you feel you had to do that? Let me think. It, I, I want to find the, the connection. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I don't know. But <laughs> okay. Because you went from Coppola to, to Basson. <laughs> like, I just like how he says, right. like, well, naturally, I had to watch yeah. that. Why? I don't know. This is collateral counseling. It is <laughs> We're collateral all trying counseling. trying to figure it out today. <laughs> the truth. Um, no, do you know what I did? I think it's because it's like there's a scene in The Outsiders. It's like, it's, 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 not, it's not exactly like a style over fucking substance movie. No, but yeah, but it takes place so in space. Well it's a good sell. I want to see him sell like, it. Outsiders... It was like so well done. Yeah, it there was, was a beautiful the, the scene where he's telling him the pony boy like, or stay gold like that whole no, yeah. like, that scene is so well done and pre- like it, it you can tell it's a soundstage but it looks so beautiful know, you just dude, buy it. I'm I was I was upset that we didn't ask we didn't get a chance to ask Ralph Macchio about Outsiders when he was here because we, we were we thought we were gonna get him for like an hour and yeah. then when then we turned out like no you get him for half an hour and then he and did some like other he did some other video here and we only got him for like fifteen to twenty minutes and we yeah. didn't ask him enough but um. But yeah, hey, let's Saul. Saul. So when did you when did you start listening to this show? How did you find it, us? By is the it Saul or Saul? Saul. Saul. It it it's Saul. Rhymes with Paul. Saul. Right, um, Saul. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I I um I was clicking around on YouTube and you get the recommendations, right? Yeah. And um, I watch YouTube on my TV, not to brag or nothing, but <laughs> yeah, I watch it on my TV. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> oh fuck! I love you, Saul. Uh, that's another one, Cody. I watch YouTube on my TV, not to brag or nothing. <laughs> oh <laughs> Please. my god! Yes. When are you coming so, on the show? Yeah, he'll be he'll He's be on. he'll be in well, New York for August thirty first. Oh 31st. really? Yeah. Oh man, now I want to go. Yeah. yeah. I, I got Andrew Dice Clay tickets that night, but I'm going to try to rearrange it. So oh. I, I got to. Uh, we can have perform in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best. Don't get me started. Listen, um, no, I like so I, um, so I don't have social media, right? Right. So a show like Jedi Council is a big deal to me because I like to know what's going on. I like to follow. That's kind of how I follow Star Wars. And I, after, uh, so I, I would I would watch Jedi Council after Solo came out. I started watching Jedi Council. Oh, okay. and I started watching all the. Like, I started watching like all the uh, episodes before that, sure. and then I get a recommendation, and I go, "Oh, I, the recommendation was a picture like you were on the thumbnail, Christian." Okay. And I go, "Oh, that's the dude from Jedi Council," and I clicked on it, and I forget what you guys were talking about, but then I go, "Oh, he's got another show," and I just started watching you because uh, because of that. And look nice. at this, and now and now you're one of you uh, one of the original, I guess, if you if you call it the the, the whack pack, as Howard Stern says, you you're definitely one of the, I think, phone call. Big characters mm-hmm. that we have, oh, yeah, so for un- sure. unbelievable. Oh, wow. Look at you, so. Well, I don't. Wow, you, when you say the whack pack, I don't know if I should be insulted or very insulted. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're definitely one of our. You know, <sighs> maybe, maybe maybe even more like a like a Richard Christie or something along those lines. So, um, I love this guy. just don't just don't you know not, shit in your hand or anything. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Saul, for for calling in today. We really appreciate it. And you're go, the best. Go get the bacon. Uh, all right, let's do. We'll do another one. Yeah. We'll probably get to two more. Depending on the call. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, it's Kevin from Fishco. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. What do you got for us today? Uh, not much. Uh, mm. Got to see Hobbs and Shaw last night. Nice. And what? did you like it? Oh, it was it was as glorious a cartoon as I expected right. it to be. Right. It's, um, it's a lot of fun, and those guys' chemistry is so good. So after seeing that, because I saw. Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood yeah. the night before, 
Who who do you think had better chemistry, uh, Statham and Rock or oh. Pitt and DiCaprio? It's Leo oh, yeah. and Brad. Did you see the movie? Yeah, that was Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. No, no, because I because I know because that was the best part know. of the movie. But you didn't see the movie. I don't care. It was you, I know. so you have no reference on the <laughs> no, other. No, but I know here, here, though. You, you don't know. You didn't okay. see it. Well, I, I tell me. A, correct me if I'm wrong. You're you're not wrong. You're actually right. But 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 you don't but you don't have but you don't have the reference. I know. I know. Um, but you're right. Hobbs and Shaw both Dwayne. Johnson and Satan, they're, f- they're phenomenal, but there's just something magical happening in, in Once Upon Amazing. a Time in, in Hollywood, yeah. for sure. Um, all right, cool. Thank you for the phone call. I appreciate it. Still got some. Oh, nice, Cody. Cody's on it now. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, this is Greg from Orlando, Florida. Hey! hey. Oh. Oh. Orlando! 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 Okay. Craig, question, question number one. Have you already got your tickets for October 19th? Orlando. I didn't say it. I already got oh. VIP tickets. Yeah. Oh. Nice. October 19th, we will be there, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure the schmodownlive.com.com. Make sure that you join Craig. What do you got for us today? Um, Actually, this is an observation question. Uh-oh. I just thought I'd throw that out there for the fans. Okay. Has anybody else noticed that as a commissioner, you're not supposed to be able to run your own faction, but temporary commissioners are? So wouldn't that temporarily bring back the ability for other commissioners to rerun mm-hmm. their faction? You're saying something like you're, you're referencing, say maybe say Emma Fife bring back the mm-hmm. Five Club. Um, hypothetically. I, hypothetically. Uh, let me just tell you that you, you're you're not far off. You're not far off of something that could happen. Maybe it could happen, but it just depends on whether or not Emma Fife has the time and wants to do that. But um, but no, you're oh. right. Why, temporary commissioners, if not locked into the full effects of the game. Um, may be able to do some stuff and it's not counterproductive. But Burnett's only in charge for like a month, so it was kind of waived, but it's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, all right, thank you for the phone call. Um, all right, let's let's uh, let's keep going. Okay, hey, you're on Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, this is Jay Wade from Ohio. What's up, guys? What's Hi, up, Jay. How you doing? Is this John Paul Jones again or no? <laughs> No. no, I'm not John Paul Jones, that <laughs> silly guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, can, you, can you have his, You have the voice though? Can you try? Can you try to do it? Can you say uh, this is John Paul Jones? My friends call me Paul, John Paul Jones. Uh, I'm John Paul Jones. My friends my call is... me John Paul Jones. <laughs> we have really so many people that sound like John Paul Jones. <laughs> yeah, you, so this guy sounds just like him. Yeah. Hey, dude, you got to practice your John Paul Jones. And, and you should listen. You should watch. I'm telling you, everybody out there, fans of this show, I'm telling you, I understand. I get you hate The Bachelor. I get that you hate bat, uh, uh, The Bachelorette. I get it. I hate it too, guys. I get it. And I want you guys to watch along with Bachelor in Paradise when it starts. You too. This, uh, because right. John I'm Paul Jones is on now. it. <clears throat> just so we have some bullshit to talk about, uh-huh. just watch an episode. I guarantee. You're gonna you're gonna say I see you already saying these people are so stupid. I can see I don't know why you turned into my mother in law, but but, <laughs> but, but, but but you can. Uh, you I, should watch. I, I don't know. Anyway, you should I'll watch. I'll do it, it if practice. you watch the thing. Deal. Mm. I'll watch the thing. Way mm. ahead of you guys. Actually, uh, we do we do an uh, an after uh, uh, after podcast for Collider Live, and you and Makuga talking about the Bachelor caused us to talk about it so now we've done a spin-off bachelor podcast so thank you guys for that because that nice. is absolutely insane i uh, i actually crazy show i i now i recognize your voice even more i have listened to your show and uh i i listened to i actually listened to the episode because remember i talked i don't know you weren't on i think roxy was on i talked about how the um the families had gotten mad at me at that one point because i made that post well that show they had on uh, one of the guys from uh, multiplex mm-hmm. which is the the family and caleb coho caleb uh, i thought caleb uh, handled himself very well put his uh put his point across very well even so much so i jumped into one of their live streams to tell them that that, that that's uh i thought he i ha- thought he handled himself very well and and he had his point across and i thought you guys did an excellent job with your interviews so uh thank you for putting on that show we appreciate it yeah, thank you very much. And he did. It, it was a really good interview. I really enjoyed yeah. it. We really enjoyed having him on there. Cool. Did you have a, a that was um, more of an observation, not not a question this time around? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did actually. I, I wanted to ask you guys about Once Upon a Time, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Sure. Yeah. Um, I went to see that. I'm a huge Tarantino fan, but I was actually quite let down at this one. But I was I was thinking. If he were to take out all of the Sharon and Tate parts, except for the very last scene, don't spoil it for anybody. Do you guys think that maybe I won't? But do you think that would maybe 
maybe make it a little bit better. It just seemed like the like the Sharon Tate bit didn't have much to do with the rest of the movie. Oh, I couldn't disagree more. Yeah, I, I yeah, thought I, I thought it, I thought it was the whole, I thought it was the entire movie. I thought it, it, it if when you look oh, at wow. everything, it's 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 the whole basis of the title alone. Right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. It, 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 I think her her side story uh, not only uh, is part of the representation of that time in Hollywood, yeah. but um, but I think it also adds to the the relationship between Brad and uh, Leo's character is this really cool friendship yeah. and bonding. But like w- when you show her side, you also show like just her as an up and coming actress and like how she de- how she's dealing with like you know seeing herself on screen. Like that moment was beautiful. I it's, thought it's you know and, like, and seeing so the reaction. Like, she humanizing her more and it's also showing me is that that whole thing really affected Tarantino very much. So mm-hmm. like, he had a huge crush on Sharon Tate. Like he and this mm-hmm. entire thing that he was doing inside of it was this once upon a time in Hollywood type of thing to show her and what he wanted to do and mm-hmm. how he wanted to present it mm-hmm. and I thought he did it very well I actually really love the movie so I, I think we're just on a different page here but I think yeah removing that stuff I think it, it just it's a different it's a completely different yeah. movie and it even just like the well. Playboy uh, house scene you know like yeah. uh, that is she just, had, she, I wish she had more yeah. to do yeah exactly I wish she had more to do but the stuff mm-hmm. that she did I think it was very uh, irrelevant and important to the film mm-hmm. yeah she represented kind of the, the upcoming new Hollywood mm-hmm. and there's Leo hanging on for your life right, exactly. and then it's the, contrast. She, the contrast yeah the juxtaposition right. of it and then she literally you know I'm, and, I, yes, I almost you don't want to spoil spoiled the movie right. so. so anyway thank you for the call thank you for the show and uh, I will probably do another one yeah. hey you're on Collider Live who do we got hey you got Janet from South Carolina hey Janet yeah. Yeah. hi Janet how are you what do you got hey. for us today uh, I got two uh, questions sure. one serious and one is uh, not serious and you can decide which one is which yeah. All right. <laughs> let's, let's go serious first because then we can end with goofy silly yeah. shit alrighty um, obviously a huge Star Wars fan like you guys uh, I was. I always I have a fan like idea that like I, I don't I have to know if like is it crazy or if it's pretty good sure okay and this is a so, th- this is a theory uh, that w- this is a theory talk- that you have. Uh, well, it's more of a like if it would make it better because uh, oh, sure. Return of the Jedi is my favorite movie. Okay, nice. So, nice. but I would al- I always thought it was weird how like Darth Vader was saying to Luke when they were like confronting each other before going to the Emperor. He's always like he always, he says uh, Obi Wan once thought as you do, and I always thought that was weird that you know. Especially now with the prequels, like Obi Wan never really felt that way. Uh, so I was wondering um, uh, if it would work. If I always thought it would be cool if uh, George Lucas tweaked it, so instead of Obi Wan, it was your mother. Because mm. we always see that Padme. I mean, that's what I really loved about the prequels is how tied in. close Padme seemed to be with Luke. Right. But I mean. Well, I think, so when it comes to that, that particular thing, so I actually think that that's going to come back into play, and I thought it was going to come back into play, that whole scene uh, with the Obi-Wan movie. Because yeah. you're right to where he said, like, yeah. Obi-Wan once th- thought as you did, and we never saw that because the last we saw was him on Mustafar, burning body, leaves, right? Um, and the other yeah. thing the other thing that Obi-Wan said w- was when he was sitting with Luke, he says he's more machine now yeah. than man. How would he know that yeah. if he thought he was dead? And when did he know that he was alive when right. he thought he was dead when he left him? So what I always thought was going to happen was that they were going to explore that, whether it's this TV series that they may or may not do or the movie, I don't think that it's, that it's done because then people always throw back well wait a minute but but uh, but vader says uh, a presence i haven't felt since in episode four but that doesn't that could be any time that could be right. since since could be you know 10 years prior or, or right. five years prior so, also there's so much to explore between you know the three the, the, and four each, yeah. each of the trilogies as yeah. well right yeah. like there's so much that could have happened yeah. there that right. we, we don't really know right so um okay so that's that one what's the what's the silly yeah. one uh silly one uh i saw darina once with a um Skeletor shirt, so I hope she can back me up on this. Nice. Uh, you and Riley have uh, talked about your script for He Man, right? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I have to ask, out of uh, curiosity, how uh, sexy was Skeletor in your screenplay? Oh, sexy. <laughs> Skeletor is the sexiest we... villain. <laughs> 
yeah. to ever live. Well, we went, Janet. We, went, we went the route of the 2002 Cartoon Network yeah. Skeletor, so he's probably uh, hung like a bull, I think. Yeah. So that's, what yeah. They, that's what they say. Plus that scene where he has a three-piece suit on and right. walks into... No, that didn't happen. He knocked over a plant with his penis like uh, <laughs> like Fassbender did in Shame. If you watch the thing... <laughs> if you watch the thing before this Halloween... The thing being Fassbender's penis? No. no, no. <laughs> and, uh, invite me. If you watch that thing, invite me. But, because that is a beautiful... Just that makes you believe in God. Anyways, right. uh, but if you watch the thing before Halloween, I will dress up. At, I will do a sexy Halloween costume because I hate sexy Halloween costumes. Oh, I, I will do a skeletor. Skeletor. That to me, that to me. You don't want that. No, to okay. Me, to then me, what would you want me to do? I want you dressed as like a mean girl or something, or not. But I mean, but but more more something. Hello like, Kitty. But something, dressed in pink. Like, but like like blonde, pink. blonde hair, pink. Yeah. Like, so if I watch the thing, like see. Castells? So if yeah. I watch the if I watch the thing, no. you've got to dress like a ultra, like kid. ultra like Beverly Hills. Oh. Like to me. Oh, that, share yeah. from. Share from. I was, that's that's kind of where that's kind of where I was going. Yeah, yeah. And I want mean girls. But yeah, but 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 you're not. Not, she's into it, so we gotta change that. But something like you know, the, the buck the system. You yeah, know, like to, yeah. To, to buck your system. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll Rage against the machine, machine. All right, guess what? Fair enough. That's the show. Okay. That's <laughs> it. It's twelve o'clock. Thank you to, to Kate, the Irish Mulligan. She's gonna go fix her vagina. Yeah. We have. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna help her. Darina, <laughs> Riley, yeah, Cody, the whole crew. I will be out next week. Mm. Mark Riley will is that true? Uh, Mark Riley will be uh, running the ship here, yeah. And uh, we will we'll see you next week. Get those tickets, ShmoDownLive.com. We got three shows: New York, that's the big one. Get your tickets to New York. It was 400 seats. You don't want to miss that one. See, uh, I, well, they'll see you on Monday. You garbage! You want to call garbage, boy?